one owner car guy one owner car guy.com and what i'm going to do here today is a cold star video man there's all kinds of cars over here. just got this rx3 wagon in it's going to australia and boom 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 i'm getting this crap out of here that's ran into somebody else now trucks are moving and shucking and jiving cold start on the 81 82 i think tioga it's marked 81 but i don't know the month i'm gonna look Incomplete video manufacturer. Six of 27? I don't know. There's no month. So I'm thinking it's 82, but I'm not 100% sure because most of these were the later ones. Wow, there's an aftermarket cruise control. An emergency start. Yeehaw. Now, I haven't really checked everything out. My dog is making me feel awful. Why is my dog making me feel awful? Are we going about half in each one, you think, or what? Yeah. I didn't know if you've seen that one. Dude. Oh, you took it off. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, shit, we had two yesterday. You want to get out, huh? You're making me feel awful. Awful. Just awful. Come on. That's about it. No, get over here. There you go. That's all you get. That's all you get for right now. Okay, we're gonna do a cold start on this. It must have used to have been a brace here and they took it off. This is Colin. Yo! Chip dent detail. Chip dents detail. I'm messing up my own, my own thing that I'm like knowing what I'm doing here. What are you doing, dude? What is it? Chip dent detail. Yeah. <laughs> chipdentsdetail.com same thing on Facebook like, check it out he does lots of higher end um, quality type detailing stuff for Mercedes dealers and everything like that so it's not the old stuff like this let's see what we got we got lightage she's gonna give her shit for sheer it's a carbureted ain't it Now, when doing a cold start on an older car, it is very, very important to switch legs and do the same reps with each leg. And if you do it like that, you got a better chance of it starting. That's right, reps with each leg, cold start, baby! Woo, buddy! Something to that effect. It's gonna idle, too. This bitch is golden! It does, don't it? It's a 460. That's not an RV cam. That's like a fucking monster truck cam. Oh, it's gonna die in it. Yeah, oh, baby. Hey, a bell. That's a goddamn water pump. It, man it's just trotting it ain't running I place a bet on it I don't know my cylinders leaking too sometimes but it still works If you weren't underneath it, I'd check out the pedal. They got brakes. 
This is what we call a daily driver in Montana. <laughs> I think that's what they call a gross polluter in California. <laughs> It could just seem to run. Hey, can you come around front? You think it's a water pump? That's a carb adjustment necessity. There's a lot of gas around that top of that carb. Is there? I'd say it's a water pump fully. Sounded about like something to do with that. Yeah, it's fucking... Toasted? Yeah, that's a fucking just... Oh, that accelerator stuff. pump thing is leaking all over. Huh? Floats are probably all... Fuck, it's leaking where it's going into there, though. Yeah. Accelerator pump. Oh, it's always leaking everywhere. It's starving itself is what's known. Okay, so now... That's a fire hazard. <laughs> That's what we're gonna want. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I am no, I am no carb fixer manner. No, I don't have a lot of fucking. Fuck, I learned how to work on those when I was like. 15. Okay, let me call my dad because he's got that guy that he knew. This. Fuck. Reader, no. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, stop, hey. You know that we can take it off from the inside, right? Okay. Okay, I grabbed my phone. I'm gonna film like a part two of this. Colin's kind of got this lifted up a bit and you can see in there, there's gas just leaking. Yeah, it's, all it's still, still dripping. Holy smokes. You got, yeah, cigarette, let's light one up. <laughs> Seriously, it's fumage. It was probably 25% of the fuel wasn't going into the carburetor. It was going onto the manifold. Well, I'll tell you what, that, that fuel ain't turned yet. It's almost there, but that fuel don't smell varnishy too much yet. It ain't that bad. I'm impressed is what I'm kind of saying. I'm impressed. Well, well, the only problem, it started right up. We got it to start and everything, but did you start it lately or no? No, I haven't started in two years. Okay, in two years. We got it started. It's blowing black smoke like crazy, and it's just not burning all the fuel, it seemed like, or something. But it's a water pump. It's not a hose or a belt that needs to be tightened up for sure. Oh, really? Yeah, or a pulley or something. Basically, it's a water pump. It's like 30 bucks for that car. But fixing it's a whole different story. I don't, I don't know. I haven't even looked at the water pump part. The main problem is the carb needs to be tinkered with by somebody with a little bit more knowledge than me. Uh -huh. um, it's leaking out of the accelerator pump. And one of them's simple. It's leaking where it goes in. It might be able to be just tightened. I mean, the seals just shrunk up a bit. But the accelerator pump, actually, it's pouring out of the bottom of the gasket and different. There's about three or four, four places with like a pool of gas on the manifold. So whatever. That's the story. Um, the, if you can call that guy and ask him if you had a carb guy. Um, whatever, let me know or something. I'm just now going to the next phase of it and looking at it. I don't know. That's what I thought I'd tell you. Uh, uh, Good yeah, runs. And I could call Hector and see if he's working. I don't know if he's working. You know, you can't do nothing the weekend. But you could tow it over to the yard. Tow it to your yard. Can you get a quote from them guys that brought it here? <clears throat> Well, if it was me, I'd just call Automobile Club, personally, but... 
You think Automobile Club will pull from them real quick, but I don't think they're going to be cheap. And you think Automobile Club will pull this camper, huh? I know they will. Really? I've got the, I've got the, the 200 Guzmo. They'd pull a bus for me. They'd pull the bus for you. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> but let me call County Wine real quick and I'll ask them. Okay. I'll call you right back. We'll take you two minutes. Okay, I'll be here. Bye. Bye. He's right with AAA, I think. I bought a 65 GTO when I was 15, 16 years old with my dad. I found it. It's a 65 Tri-Power 4-speed 389 convertible. We buy this thing on the way home. We go like two blocks to the first on-ramp. Yeah, I mean, we went like a two blocks and then like a mile to the first on-ramp. And by the time we got on the highway, I realized the paint was boiling in three spots on the hood. <laughs> I'm like, dude, dude, what's that? And it's like the fucking, I jump out of the car. Well, I stopped. I jumped out of the car, popped the hood. My dad was in the truck behind me. And like, dude, fucking all three carbs are on fire. Three and just bought the thing. Fire. Yeah. So I grab uh, uh, my shirt and I can't put it out. It's all over the manifold and shit too. I grab three Diet Pepsis. Fuck to put the thing out, but just kind of funny. Is it funny? No, it's not funny at all. It's bad. This has a whole bunch of food what does? Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. Let's show you this here. Thing caught on fire. And you can actually see the aluminum. It's all melted. Look at that melted right over the metal. Fiberglass, of course. But what temperature does it take to melt aluminum like that? Wow, a lot less than metal, that's for sure. Wow. It's amazing. I need to make a close up video of this. What's up? Oh, he would be back here. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? How much? Look at this. It's a little hot. That's <laughs> what that'll look like if you drive it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you have a matching pair. Yeah. We've got a parking spot for it with his sister. Big brother. Wow, wow, wow. What are you doing? Uh, uh, you gotta admit, that kind of a dog is not as annoying as a fucking chihuahua or something. Oh, she's great. A lot, lot less energy, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And the number one people, thing people tell me is, oh, beagles are just so hard to... They're just too energy and they're just hard to control. Well, that's a Jack Russell Terrier, man. Collie. Oh, dude, I could I love a yeah, Collie. Yeah, yeah. Coolest dog in the world. That herd you and shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, they annoy me, though. Oh, they annoy the shit out of you because they don't stop. Well, I don't know. Tear the carb off here. Tear the carb off here? Why? why um, give me some reasoning here. Talk to me about that.